rigging a face is quite hard in Blender. I faced some issues while rigging one, like I couldn't find the deaf eye bone, DF teeth, or DF tongue bones. So I couldn't wait paint them properly, and the eyes, tongue, and teeth didn't move at all. In this video, I'll show you what causes that problem and how to fix it. Also, I'm using a character I generated from Make Human. How to make a character in Make Human and import it into Blender, I'll cover that in a separate video. So, here you can see the human model. The body mesh is separated. We have eyeballs, tongue, teeth, eyebrows, and hair. All as separate objects. Let's add the human metarig first. I scale it according to the body, then go to viewport display in front to see the bones clearly. Then I go into edit mode, turn on x-axis mirror, and delete the leg, hand, and hip bones, since we're only rigging the face in this video. Now we're left with the spine and face bones, which is exactly what we need. Then I adjust the spine bones and begin editing the face bones. I'll drop a manual link in the description where you can see where to position the face bones. If you face any problems setting up the bones, let me know in the comments. I can make a separate video showing just how to position the face bones correctly. Now, I want to pause here because next, I'll show you the wrong method I used that caused all the problems, like missing deformed bones for the eyes, tongue, and teeth. But if you already know the issue and just want the solution, you can skip to the fix. So I select the MetaRig, press Ctrl A, and apply all transforms. Then I go to the Rigify tab and hit Generate Rig. This creates the full Rigify rig, so I hide the MetaRig now. Next, I parent the mesh, like eyes and body, to the new rig with control P, automatic weights. You can also choose empty groups and paint everything manually, but I used auto weights. Now if I move the eye control, it may seem like it's working, but once we check the teeth and tongue, the problem becomes obvious. So, I go to the bone collection visibility and turn on the DF bones. Set the display to stick instead of octahedral for better clarity. Now, if I search for the IDF bones in the vertex groups, they're missing. Even though the DF collection is visible, there's no DFIL or similar bones. so I assumed maybe the OR guide L bone is the correct one. I selected the armature, turned on the ORG bone collection, and then selected the eyeball mesh. In weight paint mode, I pressed Alt-click on the ORG I.L bone, switched to edit mode, selected all vertices of the left eye, and set the weight to 1.0. Now, if I go back to weight paint mode, the eye is fully red, but when I try to rotate the controller in pose mode, it still doesn't move properly.
Oh, and don't forget, I had auto normalize turned off. That means multiple bones can influence the same vertices without being properly balanced. So I turned on auto normalize and repainted the left eye, but still no luck. The eye still didn't deform as expected. Next, I tried the teeth. I hid the body mesh and selected just the teeth and inner mouth and applied automatic weights again. There are only two bones showing, ORD teeth.t and teeth.t. No matter which one I weight paint, the teeth still don't move when posing. I turned on all bone collections just to check, but these were the only bones available. Weight painting with them still doesn't fix it. So now, let's go to the solution. The fix is simple. Before you generate the rig, you need to upgrade the face rig. That adds the necessary DF bones for eyes, teeth, and tongue. So, I go back to the meta rig, select it, and upgrade the face rig from the Rigify panel. Now, when I click Generate Rig, you'll see the new rig includes DF bones for everything. Then I parent the meshes again. Select the armature first, then shift, select the eyes, tongue, teeth, etc. Press Ctrl P, automatic weights. Now if I move the eye controller, the eyes deform, but they move weirdly. So we need to repaint the eyes manually. Go to Object Mode, change Bone Display to Stick, turn on Deaf Bone Visibility. Select the Eyeball Mesh, then go into Weight Paint Mode. Press Alt-click on the def eyed L Bone. Go to Edit Mode, select all vertices and assign them a weight of 1.0. Now, if you go back to pose mode and move the eye, it works perfectly. Repeat the same process for the right eye. Then go into pose mode and move the jawbone a bit. Now for the teeth, hide the body mesh. You'll see the mouth move slightly, but not properly yet. If you didn't parent the mouth mesh earlier, do that now using automatic weights. 
Then select the armature, select the teeth mesh. Go to weight paint mode. Use the defteeth.b bone for the lower jaw and dfteeth.t for the upper jaw and paint those areas fully. Now, you'll see the teeth move perfectly. Finally, let's fix the tongue. If it's not parented yet, parent it to the rig with automatic weights. Then, select the armature. Select the tongue mesh. Go to weight paint mode. Use the deaf tongue bones and paint properly. Now, when you move the tongue controller in pose mode, it works just fine. So that was the full face rigging workflow using Rigify, including the common mistakes and how to properly get the eyes, tongue, and teeth to deform using deaf bones. If this helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what tutorial you want next. I'll link the manual for face bones in the description, and I'll also make a separate video just for Make Human to Blender character import. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.